Sean's Morning Yoga Challenge. Day seven, the final day, full body flow. Welcome to day seven, the final day of our seven day morning yoga challenge. The first part of this video is going to be a little voiceover. Whoa, until we get the big studio. Thanks so much for doing this challenge with me. And I want you to comment below with one word to best describe this challenge. We are back. We are going full circle, flowing until we cannot flow anymore. Breathing in the nose and out the nose. The cap is on. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share, and check in below. Coming down onto our back. Knees into the chest. We're going to breathe in the nose and out the nose as we rock side to side. Getting some blood flow in the lower back. And let that lower back massage down into the mat. Wiggling the fingers and the toes. Deep breathing. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose into the sides, the back, and the front. Arms over the head as we drop the legs side to side. Extend the top leg out a little bit further. Let the shoulders release down, crossing the wrists. And make sure you don't cross the streams. Little toe touch on the top leg. Bring the right leg up, left leg out. Reach up onto that leg. Let's do some stretches here called the spider stretch. As you exhale, lengthen the leg. As you inhale, soften. Head up or down. You can lift the chest towards the leg as you come up. And now pull that leg across with the exhale, shifting your upper body the other direction. Bring the leg up and drop it out to the outside. Inhale, lift. Exhale to the other side. You might recognize some of these moves from the other six classes in this seven-day morning yoga challenge. Inhale, up. All right, now single straight leg stretch with a nice long stretch. Pull that leg. Exhale, pull. Nose towards the knee, extending the other leg away. There's something on my pants. Okay, <laughs> stretch it out. Stretching right behind the back of the knee. Now take that left leg, drop it across into that twist. Inhale, center, and drop it to the other side. Modify any time you need to. You can stop it and go back. You have the power of the pause. And to the outside, shoulders down and across. Really loosening up the lower back, adding a lot of youth to the lower back. And bottoms of the feet together, open the hips, take the hands to the thighs, and let's press back and forth, getting some traction, some stretch in the lower back, some decompression. Feet together, you can slide the feet further forward for a little deeper stretch or keep it right here. Okay, I'm going to do a little elevation here. I call it a lying butterfly bridge, LBB. Lift it up, getting a back bend, keeping the hips open, engaging the core, especially the lower back. Shoulders are down, smiling at the camera. Lifting with the inhale, stretching with the exhale. Slowly come down. And this shoulder stretch. Your left foot is behind your right. The right arm is out behind me. You'll see that on the other side, but as much as you are comfortable with that, extending the right arm back behind you to stretch the shoulder and pressing into the left hand to increase the twist. All right, switch to the other side. Now we get to see the back end of it, the best part right here. Or take that right arm to your lower back. You want to add the rotation. I'm a big stickler for rotation, keeping the lower back loose, limber, and adaptable. Good shoulder stretch with a twist on the rocks. Okay, scorpion stretch. The left leg goes back behind you. Let your body naturally move Then the right foot. Scorpion stretch. Arms overhead or bring the arms out to the sides and placing the hands down again. The leg comes back behind you in the scorpion. 
And it's tough to get out of it, but we must end to the other side. All right, big twist, big stretch. We are ready for some downward facing dog, and I think we're ready. Oh, break dancing. Ready for Sean to take over live. Okay, we're live. Now we're in the big room. Let's walk the legs 10 times in down dog. Two, three, add a twist. Four, five, six, seven. Tuck that chin. Eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful. Bring the left leg up. Let's get some separation between the legs. As you inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, sink the right heel down, stretch the back of that right leg. Two more breaths. Hope I'm not too bright. There is so much snow outside, it's beautiful, but practically impossible to film. Bring the right foot forward, lunge. Shoulders are back and down. I want to add one of my favorites here. It's a side lunge festival. Take the arms up. Now turn. Rock it down into the side lunge. Have the hands down if you like, or just stay in the regular lunge while we go through this. Inhale up, exhale, drop to the other side. Huge stretch for your hamstrings and calves. Bring it back over. And now back to crescent lunge. The original one, little turn. Don't be afraid to bring the hands down. Arms up. Let's do 10 touchdowns. Exhale down, inhale lift. One. Really steady yourself. Two, all that energy for the day. Three, four, inhale up, exhale down. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we're just getting started. Nine and 10, reach the arms back or lace the fingers. Mudra, open the chest. The more you can open up that breath, well, goes without saying, the better your day will be. All right, release, downward facing dog, shake it out. <sighs> Lots of breath, in the nose, out the nose. <sighs> Let's do that lift on the other side, right leg up, left heel down. Inhale, lift, exhale, low. The left heel. One more breath. Oh, that feels good. Oh, I have a moment here. I'm having a Montclair moment. Right foot forward. Let me turn this forward. We're, we're sliding. <laughs> All right. Going into the crescent lunge. Shoulders back and down. Stretch that back leg. Arms up. Stay here for the side lunge experience. Turn and drop. Balance. Whoa. Scared myself. Up. Over. Open up that hip, really stretch out. Get your turn out, up and over. What is going on here? I don't want anyone to see my notes. Okay, now back up, crescent lunge. All right, you ready? 10 touchdowns. Very athletic movement, but anybody can do it. Practice, practice. Oh, here's five and six. Seven, eight, nine, beautiful. Ten, up, whoa, and back. That's a fancy way to get there. Mudra or reach the arms back, open. All right, power vinyasa flow. Step back to plank or kick the leg, press forward, lower down. Elbows hugging the ribs, flow, 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 flow. And then cobra. Elbows into the sides, lifting up, or upward facing dog. Shoulders back, squeeze the glutes. Downward facing dog. Kick out the legs. Let's do that lunge series. Little faster, hold lunge or add the side lunges. Same control. Whoop. <laughs> the earth is obviously shifted. Turn. Up, or we'll leave out those touchdowns. Reach through, mudra. Oh, that energy, that energy. Release, down dog, other side. Side lunge series option. Oh, 
getting those legs ready boom, for everything. Now, reach through, hold, open. Vinyasa floor. I'm going to switch the feet so I can kick the other leg back. You choose. Control. Meet. Downward facing dog. Walk the legs ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sink those heels down. Okay, walk or jump the feet forward. Come gently down. Seated position. Flowing every pose, every position, every sequence together. Half boat. Shoulders back and down or bring the feet flat. Good. Wiggle the fingers and the toes. A little ab work option. Take the legs out. Oh, bring the knees in. It's kind of a version of the accordion. Let's do 10 more or hold the half bow. Get those abs energized. Two, three. Inhale out, exhale in. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, yes. Eight, nine, ten. Bottoms of the feet together. Let's do the rocking butterfly. Take it side to side. Use those elbows to press that leg down energizing the lower back. And I haven't mentioned it yet, maybe I did it in the voiceover, but I haven't done the voiceover yet for the first sequence, because I'm still here. <laughs> but blood flow. Circulation of blood throughout the body is paramount. Paramount to good health and fitness. And deep breathing so you can dump the oxygen into the bloodstream. All right, elevate, bring it up. If you're able, come closer. Drawing those feet in close. Drop the shoulders. Find your balance. Let's do five breaths. In the nose and out the nose. As I film this, my wife is at her baby shower. I was not invited. I like to think because I'd make them do all this. And they don't want to do that. Can do it later. One more breath. All right, let's dump ourselves into the vinyasa flow. Step back, plank, forward, down, down, down. Work those arms and shoulders, cobra or upward facing dog. Lower it down, and now using the shoulders and the core, press up and back, downward facing dog. Sink the heels down, let the spine decompress. Left foot forward, uh-oh, triangle. Line up the heels, arms out. Let's do our triangle flow. Hinge forward, back of the hand to the inside of the leg, replace the hand on the leg. We're gonna reach up and over and carry it into revolving triangle. Okay, let's do that four more times. Melting into it, strong in the feet, in the balance. Three more. Oh, long lines. Beautiful. Two more. This is an adventure. This is a journey. The more consistent we are, the more success we shall have. All right, one more time. Boom. Pine trees not wind in a wine room. No, never mind. I try to do my songs and I don't even know the lyrics. Step back, down dog, other side, triangle flow five times. Turn that left foot in, arms out. Precision, smooth out the edges, smooth it out so that whatever you do throughout the day, you will do with this kind of flow, this kind of purpose. It's the best we can do. Oh yes, sliding up the leg. Three more. There's that twist. You could also place this hand on the other side of the foot. More challenging. Two more. I guess I'll demonstrate that because I mentioned it. 
Woo! So it's over here. If I fall down, I'm blaming you. All right, folks, once more, what a great instructor. Blaming the person he's working out with. There we are. Beautiful, my friend. Oh, that twist. All right, step it back. Down dog. Walker jump forward. Give me a chair. Feet hip width. Arms forward. Let's add some movement. Let me give you a front view here. We're going to open, close. Ten more times. Keep pressing back in the glutes and the heels. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Ten times. Open the chest. Keep engaging the glutes. You're going to feel this one. But remember, everyone's going to notice how much differently you move, how much better your posture is, your alignment, your flexibility, your stamina, your focus. Tell them about this seven-day morning yoga challenge. Get them on. Also, clap. All right. Down. Forward fold. Diving down. Extra breath. Woo. All right. Stepping back. Plank. Press forward. Lower down. I just really have a hankering to do scorpion again. Oh, I love this twist. I love this twist. Remember, this is full body. I want to give you as much as I can in the short amount of time we have together. One more time, each side. All of me. Why not take all of this flow? All right, down dog. Chair one more time. Boom, boom. Back. Now, arms forward, lace the fingers. Index finger and thumb out. Hold here. We're going to tap down with the exhale. Lift up 10 times. Here's two. That's different, isn't it? Really stretching, engaging the shoulders, building mobility and flexibility in the shoulders. Six, seven, eight. What do you think of this one? Let me know below. Well, my counting. All right, forward fold. Down. Step back, downward facing dog. Left foot forward, warrior, side angle warrior. And we're turning to everything. We're turning, turning, okay. Forearm on the leg, extend the arm. Five times back and forth from here to reverse warrior. Inhale up, take the arm across. Exhale down, one. Feel that in your leg. And two, I worked out before I came in here. I'm feeling jolly good. Oh, proving how accessible these flows can be. One more time. Oh, forearm down or the hand. Reach, reach, extended warrior. Hands down. Vinyasa flow. Your call. Knees can drop also. Downward facing dog. Whew. That is marvelous. Let's do that on the other side. Warrior, turn the left foot and bend the right knee. <sighs> side angle to reverse, five times. Exhale into side angle, inhale to reverse. Here's three. And four. Oh, yes. One more time. I don't want to take up your whole morning. Keep these short and sweet. Come on down. Stretch. Breathe. Okay. Vinyasa flow with breath, with precision. Downward facing dog. Walk ten times. Actually, let the forearms come down. Dolphin. Optional, if you want, you can walk or bring your knees down. This is definitely a tighter pose than down dog. A couple more walks for good measure. Hold the dolphin, bring the feet wider. Ooh. Exhale and push gently with the breath, mind you, towards the heels. Five breaths.
in the nose and out the nose. I said, mind you. Next, I'll say, good day. Poppycock. <laughs> I think this is the berries. <laughs> Bird dog. Oh, quick, couple shoulder rolls. Oh, I'm sweating. Let me switch my cap. Okay, okay. Bird dog. Let's do 20 times. Pick up the pace. We're almost there. Almost there. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Inhale, extend. Exhale down. Three, four, five, six, seven. Balance. Eight, nine, ten. Ten more. A little faster. Eleven. If you want, take the hands further forward. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, was that good? Thread the needle back and forth. Reach through. Other side. Nice twist. If you haven't checked in already for this class, do it right afterwards, right when you finish. No matter how far you get through, and let me know what is one word you would use to describe this seven-day morning yoga challenge. One word. Post that below. And keep it clean. Keep it clean. Okay. Right knee forward. Just about there. Give me a pigeon. Let's keep going. Pigeon, pigeon. Shoulders back and down. Proud pigeon. So we're lifting all of that openness in the chest, shoulders, and abdominals. Right over the center. Big, big winner from one of our earlier ones in this challenge with the knot pigeon, the pigeon knot. So come down, forearms down, or slide down onto your stomach. The knot, you cross the arms on the chest. I'm gonna take my right arm underneath. Five breaths. Use your body weight to open up the back and the shoulders. Circulation. And flexibility. Flexibility is youth, is youth. Or as my cousin Vinny would say, youth. Okay, let's travel to the other side. Right leg sliding back. Proud pigeon first, lifting tall. Don't do that, just let me do that. Right leg sliding back, right over the center, and then forward, pick your poison. I'm gonna take the knot. Let me just put those notes back there. Here we go. Five deep breaths. In the nose and out the nose. Oh, so much openness. We forget about those rear areas a lot. We see in the mirror, we see the front. We think chest, abdominals, biceps, the anterior deltoids, quads, but yoga is so functional, so functionally beautiful that it comes right through and opens up the whole backside of your body too. So we get balance, balance in life. If we're imbalanced, our body ages so much quicker. All right, stepping back, downward facing dog. All right, walk or jump forward. Chair pose, I want those glutes to be nice and hot when you start your day. Pressing that, place the fingers. Three more breaths. Diving down, reach back, mudra, open, soften the knees, three breaths. I hope this flow hit the spot, like a nice strong cup of coffee or some green tea or some pineapple. I want some pineapple. Drop down, rising up. Now we're gonna climb that rope. No I'm kidding. Whew. Whew. Little shake here. Up we go, shoulders back and down, finishing with our tree pose. Let me 
and the calf. It's, it's some superstition I have. Open the right hip, hands together. Find a focus point. Your focus for the day is right here. How are you going to start? Heel below or above the knee or the ankle. <laughs> it's the snow. Ankle on top of the thigh. Five breaths. Actually, I'm going to look down at that medicine ball. Two more breaths. Okay. Other side. Open up when you're ready. When you are ready. Five breaths, my friend. That standing knee, your right knee, is a little bit soft. Let those joints be loose. Shake it out. Beautiful, my friends. A little twist. And that brings to a close your seven-day morning yoga challenge. Thanks so much for joining me. You could do it as many times as you like. Please check in below. Share it with friends, family, co-workers, students, uh, someone who likes a challenge. Keep this challenge going. And uh, one word. What one word describes this challenge? Post it below. And... Uh, subscribe to this channel to never miss an update or a workout or a challenge. If you've been enjoying these flows, and I think you have because you're here for day seven, please hit that like button and share it. I already mentioned that. If you'd like to donate to this channel, to Sean Big Fitness, there is a donate link below in the about section and where I post it in the comment section. You can always PayPal me. I appreciate that. God bless my friends. It's Coach V signing off for yet another challenge. Well done. It is an amazing honor to train with you and to move with you and to make ourselves healthier, stronger, and more focused. Huh? See you next time. Oh, check this out.